For most of this program, we've been taking a look back at the year that was, but Jason Logan, right now we want to take a look ahead at the 2014 season, or should I properly say the 2013-14 season, because one of the big stories is the calendar change. Yeah, there's no need to put the remote down anytime soon, folks, because whereas in years past, the PGA Tour had a two and a half to almost three month off season, now the off season is a grand total of two weeks. So just after the Tour Championship, just after the President's Cup, begins the fall portion, I guess the 2013 portion of the 2013-14 season. So a little bit confusing, but it means that you're gonna get to watch golf sooner. One guy who has played well, very well this year, and we're looking forward to seeing what he can do next year is Graham Dillette. Yeah, and the question surrounding Graham Dillette next year is, can he move from being a top 50 player, which is very, very impressive, to a top 20, maybe even a top 10 player down the road? Can he contend in major championships, which he really hasn't done to date? And listen, it's not just you and I or Canadian media talking about Graham Dillette. He is the uh, one of the subjects that gets talked about again and again by all the American media, the big papers, the big networks. They all pinpoint this guy as being the next, one of the next superstars on the PGA Tour. Well, it's going to be interesting to see what Graham Dillette does, what David Hearn does. There's a lots of big stories out there. And speaking of uh, other major winners, we talked about Tiger breaking his drought, but what about Lee Westwood or Luke Donald or Sergio Garcia? What about some of the other young guns like Jordan Spieth and Billy Horschel and some of these young players? Will they get into the major conversation? Uh, lots to talk about, lots to look forward to as we focus on the 2013-14 PGA Tour season.